about um, learning from different sources and um, having not pushing dogma on my students. I mean, essentially, my instructor was the same way, and I'm sure his instructor was the same way. Where it's not about whether you're doing, whether I'm doing what he told me to do. Uh, I think he'd look more from the viewpoint of, does, did it work? And if it was kind of close to working, even if it didn't work out perfectly, he's going to try to help me perfect the thing I was already doing, as opposed to telling me, no, that's wrong, you have to do this. And so, over, I don't know, 10 years of playing, I just was able to develop on my own in that way. And um, as you start to develop on your own, you start just working on the ideas that you're already, uh, or the movements that you already uh, are in your game. Maybe an example is, I have one movement, let's call it movement X. It's very strange when it's different, but my instructor let me do it, and, um, and so it's part of my game now. Now as people try to defend it, I start coming up with ways to avoid however they're trying to counter what I'm doing, and that puts you into like weirder and weirder territory, and you know, after 10 years of that, your game is somewhere completely different than anyone else's, but it's because I set out to deal with whatever the problem was with one solution that other people didn't use, and again, just keep working on like the problems in front of me with those solutions, and you keep... Um, keep elaborating on them but in different ways that other people don't do. So it was all kind of natural. It wasn't like I ever thought to do anything strange. It all started with, well actually, so the idea is that it started with me just wanting to win. And in the very beginning, I didn't have all the tools. No one told me how to do it. But I'm still trying to win even though it's my second week of jiu-jitsu. And so you have to just start making it up as you go along. And that was kind of how those solutions came about, making it up as I went along. Uh, my instructor Aaron didn't really ever stop me. He just tried to help me perfect what it is I was doing. And again, 10 years down the line, it's different than the way other people do jiu-jitsu. Um, and that's not to say, I, I mean, I watch people on YouTube all the time. I've watched people throughout the years. I learned from my instructors and my teammates and everything like that. But um, I think that's why it looks different right now. In the beginning, I didn't do tournaments. I'm not saying everyone shouldn't do tournaments, but I didn't do tournaments. So I didn't have to learn to play in a particular way. I wasn't working on a particular problem, like how to stop people from doing daily Hiva. So I could spend time exploring whatever I wanted to explore. Um, when I first started, I'd watch videos with my instructor. He was a black belt. He just showed me really cool things. And I was like, oh, I like that. But I wasn't trying to do a thousand leg drags or a thousand arm bars. I just wanted to do things that were cool to me and interesting to me. And that's another way that it all developed in that way. But I'm sure if I was doing tournaments in the beginning, I would have been caught up in trying to win. Like you should be. I mean, why else do it if you're not trying to win? But that kind of leads you down a certain path. You have to learn how to play in a certain way to deal with certain things that happen in tournaments. I never had to deal with those problems, so I was able to develop a little bit more.